Welcome back. So I'm not going to make videos with Mac and Windows all the time, but just to give you guys a very brief overview of Visual Studio, I'm going to do one for the Mac and one for the Windows in the next couple of lessons. Uh, let's start with the Windows one. Notice there's a, a small difference between the way the UI looks, but when we start writing the code, it's the same. So let's start with the Windows one, and what I want to start doing is creating a new project here. So I'm going to go on Windows, I'm going to launch Visual Studio just by going to the Windows button, writing Visual Studio, and it'll pop up right here, Visual Studio 2017. I'll launch that and this guy will pop up. And then in here you'll get some kind of start page like you're looking at right here. And in the sense of that there'll be one called Create New Project. That's what we are going to do. So I'm going to press this guy and here it pops up with a small dialog where I can make a console app on the .NET Core platform. Remember it needs to be .NET Core, not .NET Framework. That's the old version of .NET or the most used one, but the core is the cross-platform version that we want to use, right? So it needs to be the .NET Core one. Another thing that's important for me is I want to name it, let's just keep Console Lab 1 for now, that's a fine name. The second thing is the location where you want to save this, and I'm kind of into putting my code inside a work folder. So what I'm going to do if I just press Browse here, let me just zoom out a bit again so you guys can see that one pop up. Uh, what I want to do is I want to create a folder under work, C Sharp, and under there I want to add my console app solution here. So it's going to be under C drive, there's going to be a work folder, and under that one there's going to be a C Sharp folder. You don't need to create those, .NET will take care of that for you when you create this first project. I just wanted to show you guys that. So I'll call my solution um, first .NET solution. Let's call it first core solution here. There we go. And that's just, uh, the solution is going to be the overall folder name. I'll show you that in a second. And then I'll just say OK and it'll create my first project here. It'll take a few seconds or minutes or whatever. Depending on your machine, it'll take a bit of time. So the project's now created. It'll take a bit of time still because it's, it's actually compiling the project now. We'll get back into what that is all about but it's building the project now for you so you have an exe file or DLL file ready to actually work with. That's why you see the red lines and they disappear again. That's because it's actually building the project behind the scenes. We'll get more into that later. Most important thing to learn is that we have a solution explorer here that actually shows all your different projects. So the solution is again the top level and then you can have multiple console applications below that or web API, whatever you want, below that solution. We'll get back into that later. The other thing that I wanted you guys to know is that right here in the top you see a green arrow thing. That's actually to launch your program. So let's try and launch this new console application before we move over to the Mac. Of course the Mac has something similar so it'll be kind of the same thing. And what you should see is actually this pop-up that disappears again and we'll get back into that later how we can make the pop-up stay. But that means that your program is actually running right now. So let's move over to the Mac and find out how we can actually create a project and launch that project before we start changing the code around. See you in the next lesson.